India is the most affordable and preferred medical tourism destinations globally and therefore we request government of India for increased policy support. In terms of revenue for in foreign currency, India is, I think, after the oil industry is the second industry, healthcare is doing well in foreign currency. For that, we need a government support in terms of making the MET sector as an organized sector. And also in terms of budget, we want government to direct banks in terms of lending MET companies on a longer tenure and at a lower rates. G20 is a very big platform for India to showcase, as, showcase their excellence in healthcare and medical tourism is a subset to that. And government of India has done a couple of initiatives in terms of promoting India globally as a medical tourism destination for health, health care and wellness. The first initiative they have done is Heal in India. And the second initiative they have done is taking the feedbacks and the testimonials of the patients, those who are traveling to India for medical purpose. Third is the ease of visa. It's very easy for patients to get a visa to come to India for medical tourism purpose. India's leadership in healthcare clearly demonstrated during the pandemic. This gives a lot of boost for Indian healthcare system as well as the medical tourism in India. India offers a combination of modern and traditional medicine. This also sets India apart from the rest of the world. Recently, Prime Minister Modi has launched Ayush Mark to promote the medical tourism and healthcare wellness tourism in India. So I am one of the few pioneers who started the medical tourism industry way back in 2009 in Delhi and NCR. We started with one or two patients which we used to get from reference or digital search via social medias. At this time social media was not very vast the way it is right now. But in 2013 from journey from 2009 to 13 we saw there is a lot of traction towards India. Patients are coming trust on the doctors, healthcare systems. So this allow us to understand, yes, we can get it to the whole world and then we launched our brand Global Care in 2013. So from journey from 2009 to 2013, we were treating between 2 to 20 patients a month. But from 2013 to 2020 or 2022, we reached around 2000 patients a month, which we are treating every month. And in 2000 patients, 600 plus are the IPD, the surgical cases and 1400 are the OPD cases. During this time, what we understood is the patients need the personal touch. So what we did, we did our own teams. We created a system where our teams are in the hospital helping the patients, starting from their country, from airport pickup, helping them for OPD, admissions, discharge, having their uh, travel plans around Delhi and NCR or Agra to see Taj Mahal. And then when they're going back, always be in touch with them for their feedbacks, testimonials, or if they need something from our team, from the doctors, we provide them. Growth-wise, in the next five years, what we are planning is, we are going outside in terms of growth and inside in India as a growth. Outside in many countries, we are opening our own offices. We establish our concern with the ministries there. And India, apart from Delhi, NCR, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Bombay, Chennai, Calcutta, all these metro cities, we are having our own offices to facilitate the patient if they want to go to these states.